The first decision Barack Obama made as president-elect was selecting jazz legend Poots Walker to play at his inaugural ball. <laughs> Ronnie Tucker recently sat down with Poots to talk about his new autobiography, From Lemons to Lemonade. Well, my first gig was with the Duke Ellington band. And I used to like to improvise, you know, do my own thing. Duke hated that. So one day, Duke said, if you play this wrong note one more time, I'm gonna shove that horn so far up your ass, you'll never get it out. And that's exactly what he did. The doctor told me if I pulled the horn out, I'd have to live the rest of my life with a colostomy bag. So I kept the horn and got rid of the bag, cause a bag ain't my bag, you dig? title Lemons to Lemonade? Well, I made the best out of a bad situation. About three months into rehab, I ate a three-bean burrito with cabbage and broccoli. I sneezed, and that's when I heard this. That was a perfect pitch. It was amazing. My first anal note. That's the day I changed my name from Toots to Boots. Of all the albums you've ever recorded, what's your favorite? I loved them all. Chilling with boots. It must have been something I ate was great for its rawness. Cooking with gas was explosive. Of course, my duet albums were wonderful. Sinatra on Summer Wind, Britney Spears, Oops, I did again. How do you change notes from the back end? God blessed me with a spastic colon. And it doesn't hurt that I'm lactose intolerant. Who would be your all-time favorite collaborator? Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but that would have to be me. I was recognized by the International Jazz Commission as the only artist to perform a duet with himself. When you perform out of the front and the back end, you charge more for your concert tickets, correct? That's right. When I play out of both ends, that's like two band members performing, and every band member has got to get paid. With all of your accolades, what achievement are you most proud of? Oh, that's easy. When they asked me to perform at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Would you say you're the best jazz trumpet player ever? It's not fair. I have an advantage. Other musicians have to stop playing to take a breath, not me. I can do this all day. And sing too. Shabbat the bop the day.